Welcome to Johnny's World. Hi, welcome to Johnny's World. Let's take a tour of some of my other fruit trees and happy Friday to everyone. You've seen this in a prior video. It's the amazing kumquat tree that produces a lot of fruit. And uh, we just did a harvesting of this to give away to some friends and still have a lot of fruit growing, as you can see. So this is one of my favorite. Um, and it's delicious if you make jam. And this is actually an interesting fig tree. It was first, it died. And then I actually thought it was, it was dead. And I just planted it in this pot here. And amazingly, it just grew. So it's getting pretty big. It used to be planted in my backyard. <clears throat> Plucked it out of the ground. I was going to throw it in the trash can. And uh, but I thought, you know what? Let's try to stick uh, whatever that's dead in soil. And look at this just producing wonderful figs. I don't really know what type of fig tree this is. This was uh, at my home before I, you know, before we bought this house. So um, the prior owner, I believe, planted it, but I happened to kill the, uh, the fig tree because I forgot to put the water sprinkler on for a few weeks when we we're, when we we're first moved in. So anyways, this is a uh, wonderful looking fig tree here is a pomegranate tree that i showed in a prior video when i did uh, the cuttings and it has some really nice fruit that's growing on it here's a plum tree that produced some really delicious plums this year and uh, it was delicious i had a great time just eating these wonderful plums nice and juicy and sweet very good here's another fig tree we have and as you can see there's some really nice figs growing on this is a turkish fig and planted it on the ground this year about a month ago about a couple months ago and look at that beautiful is turning into a wonderful fig tree and I hope uh, to taste the figs for the first time on this tree. Now here is my aprium tree which didn't flower this year unfortunately but this is a hybrid uh, between an apricot and a plum. <clears throat> so last year we had a chance to taste some of the fruit and it was, it was very good. And there over there is my apricot tree. And this year it did not fruit. Last year it fruited a lot and we had a chance to taste some really good apricots. That over there is my nectarine tree. And this year it did produce some wonderful nectarines, but I was too late in harvesting them. So all the squirrels got to it first, unfortunately. But last year I had uh, a chance to eat a few of those nectarines and they were delicious and here is another pomegranate tree this one I planted on the ground but uh, it was doing quite poorly it was starting to die so I actually took it out of the ground and I put some uh, Gary best topsoil and I just planted it again and it's the greens are uh, the leaves are starting to turn green so it's getting healthier Here's a pomegranate tree that it was from a par cutting I did. And here is another pomegranate tree from a par cutting I did. And as you can see, this one's getting really big. Doing quite well. <clears throat> this is one of my newer additions. I'm actually, I think this is the white sapote that I bought not too long ago. And um, I'm uh, very excited about this tree. Um, never had a white sapote fruit tree, so this is a first for me. Here is a lime tree that I bought. And I'm, for now, until it gets a little bit bigger, I just planted it in this uh, container. I'll be moving this to my um, citrus section soon. But for now, I just wanted to get a little bit bigger. Here is the ice cream bean tree 
which I showed in a prior video, and I'm actually very excited about this because I've never had an ice cream bean uh, tree. I never even tasted ice cream beans, so I'm actually very, I'm hoping that I don't kill it, and I'm hoping this is going to grow big and strong. And here is another pomegranate tree, I, and this is also a prior cutting I did, so this is getting pretty large. It's doing uh, better in the sun right now, so I'm very excited about this. And here are some of the other smaller plant trees I have. Uh, this is a blueberry bush that I had planted um, in a very shady area. It wasn't doing very well. It's getting overtaken by other plants, so I just put it in this container. It's doing well, but I, I noticed it's getting some sunburnt on the leaves. But Hopefully it'll recover and do do well. Here is a guava tree I had. It, it di first died. So I did the same thing as that fig tree. I just, uh, the dead branch I just planted in this, this container. And look at this, it's starting to grow again. So hopefully it'll, this will survive and bear some fruit later. Here is a mango tree. Here is my goji berry. And I, the only time I've had goji berries, uh, I tried it um, as a dried, like a raisin. And I've, I think I've only tried it once, and it was actually pretty tasty. It tasted um, similar to a raisin, but different. And I'm hoping that will start growing. And here is my strawberry guava. I'm hoping that will grow out. I never had strawberry guava. So I'm hoping this section will do well and uh, hopefully these uh, trees will get bigger and uh, produce fruit in the future. Now that over there is my amazing persimmon tree. I mean last year it just produced heavily. This year there's nothing but last year it was so heavy in fruit production and those persimmons were delicious. So um, yeah, hopefully next year, I believe it is alternate um, bearing like a Hass avocado. So hopefully next year will bear some heavy persimmons. I mean, last year we gave away to our neighbors, our friends, family, and they all loved it. And here is another persimmon tree I have, and I have this growing in this 24 inch box. Last year it did produce a lot more persimmons. This year, luckily we have one. Look at this, it's beautiful. So we'll enjoy that one persimmon this year and hopefully next year will bear some heavy, heavy fruit load. Here's a loquat tree I bought two years ago. So this year it's starting to grow very tall. For a couple, for the first year, it didn't really grow that much. Hasn't fruited or hasn't flowered at all. But as you can see, it is getting tall, and and the leaves look really great and healthy. And here's a passion fruit I just bought this year. Since we could not take a family vacation this year to Hawaii, I thought I would try to bring Hawaii. California to our house and uh, it did flower quite a bit uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna produce anything but it's still looking pretty good um, it'd be great if we had some passion fruit so maybe we could make pog in the in the future which is pineapple orange and guava Oh, I'm sorry, it's passion fruit, orange and guava. And those of you who've never tasted a pog, um, it is a very delicious drink. Um, we love drinking pog in Hawaii. And here is a peach tree. I planted this year 
uh, it's because a bigger tree I had here fell with the Santa Ana winds this year. So I had to replace it with another tree. And, and this tree was a heavy producer this year. Wonderful, delicious tasting peach. And here's my citrus section of my front yard. And these are, this is an orange tree. There's some beautiful oranges growing. Here's an orange tree I bought this year. A, navel, a sweet navel orange Washington. And I have it in this container for, for now until I plant it. And there's some nice looking oranges growing on it. And here is a tangerine tree. Some beautiful tangerines growing on that. And here's my lemon tree. Perfect for lemon tea. Now here's another pomegranate tree I have, and I did not water this very well this year. The sprinklers don't really get to this area very well. I haven't really set up a irrigation system here, but as you can see, there's still some very nice fruit growing. So luckily they're hanging on, so hopefully we get to taste some of these uh, wonderful pomegranate trees. Now it gets pretty windy in my backyard, so a lot of times the flowers drop. But um, these are these hung on pretty well. It seems like it's big enough that we will be able to harvest them in the future. Here's another peach tree we have. And this is really tall as you can see. And it is producing some nice peaches, so I can't wait to harvest them. There's clusters and clusters of peaches. And here is my grapevines, and I haven't checked these in a while, but they had some, a lot of grapes growing. I'm not sure if the, the squirrels have gotten to them or not, but uh, the last time I checked, there were a lot of grapes. Here they are. There's, there's some growing right there. So here are some of the grapes. tree that I had an aphid issue on a few months ago and what I ended up doing is I just took off all the leaves I just went to town just cutting everything off and look at this the leaves uh, they all came back and they're flourishing uh, recently I did have another aphid issue so what I did this time was I just got a bottle and uh, put some water and a few, and a few drops of a mild dish uh, detergent and and that kind of took care of the aphids for now. Here is another pomegranate tree I have. Had some fruit on it earlier this year, but they all fell down, unfortunately. Here is the apple gala tree I have. And as you can see, there's still 
two nice looking apples. Now here is um, a fruit tree that I just recently got into. It's the dragon fruit and I don't know really anything about dragon fruits. Uh, we taste, we eat dragon fruits in Hawaii all the time along with the passion fruit and and uh, other, the guavas and other fruits we get there. So I, I, I have tasted passion, I have tasted dragon fruit and I like them, but this is the first time I'm growing them. And, and um, we'll see, I'm trying to learn a little bit more about dragon fruit, so this is pretty exciting. So there's a lot of trees I'm just recently getting into. Like I've never had a goji berry, never had a white sapote, never had an ice cream bean tree so never had a strawberry guava so never had a uh, another guava tree I'm not sure what kind that is I never had that either so I'm actually pretty excited about all these new trees and this is one of them I mean I think they get fairly large so we'll see but for now I what I've researched I guess this is the way to go but some type of uh, thing. This I just bought at a local Home Depot. That, but that I just put a a wood to stabilize the dragon fruit, and and we'll see how it goes. But thank you very much for joining us. If you like this video, please press the like and subscribe button. Thank you.